Before we even play the drum, we have to learn how to hold the djembe drum and what position to be in so that you can be comfortable to play for a long period of time. The first thing I do is I tilt the drum away from myself so that the sound can come out. If the drum is flat, there's no sound. So I tilt the drum away from me, but it's going to fall. So I have to gently put my legs around the drum. It's not a thigh master. You don't have to sit here and squeeze it. You make yourself tired. You want to gently cradle the drum. You can see my knees hold the drum and my legs come around the drum so that it's comfortable and that the drum isn't going from side to side. I'm not leaning to one side. It's straightforward, relaxed. I can sit like this for a long time. It also, when you sit the drum, you hold the drum, you have to more relax. Because if you're not relaxing, you're not going to get a better sound. The way I'm sitting like this, I'm more relaxed, more comfortable. That means if I'm relaxing, my son's drum is going to come out. What about your arms and your shoulders? In your arms, your arms too, make sure you don't hold your arms when you start to play drum. Because if you hold like this, so you're not going to have a better sound. Is it the way to more you relax your feet in your body because it's a connection, it's a body connection with the music. So the way you see how I'm relaxing, I'm sitting like this, then I relax it. That means if I want to make bass, I only do use like this. That means I'm relaxing. And you're lifting your arms. You're moving your arms. You'll notice that my, my body is still, I'm not going side to side, but I'm lifting my arms up and down and I'm staying center. So those are some tips on how to prepare yourself to play the djembe.